All right, everybody, it's about 10 p.m. or about 10.30 p.m. Central Time right now, uh, which is a couple hours after my poor MacBook Pro failed to install or even start downloading macOS uh, Big Sur. Um, and also several hours since Apple has said that they supposedly fixed the issue. Um, and I've had many of you guys who were originally commenting on that video saying that it was also not working for you, saying that it's working now. So uh, it's about 10.30 Central Time. We're about to try it again. Moment of truth, crossing my fingers. Hopefully everything works. I did another internet speed test because my uh, Wi-Fi and internet speed tends to vary throughout the day. And we're down to around 70 megabits as opposed to the 100 we were at earlier. So uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, but it still shouldn't be too bad. All right, moment of truth time. I'm opening system preferences. I'm going to software update. Uh, let's go ahead and try to update. There we go. Uh, downloading. Well, I've already had about 50 megabytes out of 12 gigabytes. It uh, looks like it's going to be about an hour download. Now, I have heard of some cases where people get all the way through the download like this, and then when they go to install, they'll get the same error message, and then they'll just it'll just kick them back to the start with the download again. So uh, uh, let's just hope nothing happens. And I've just started the stopwatch on my watch so we can see exactly how this takes uh, up against the actual computer. We're looking at 58 minutes right now. Um, 13 seconds on the watch, uh, so it looks like this is actually working for now. I don't know if you just saw that glitch, it, it went from one hour to zero days and then back to one, one hour, but it seems to be downloading at a reasonable rate now, so uh, at least the files seem to be coming from the server. I just realized I don't think I ever fully disclosed, this is a 2019 15-inch MacBook Pro with a 2.3 gigahertz 8-core Intel i9, 32 gigabyte RAM, and the Radeon Pro Vega 20 graphics, and also a terabyte SSD. Just thought I would mention and show all of that because, especially when you get into the installation portion, uh, different machines are gonna install this at different speeds, and obviously a newer, higher spec machine like this is going to download and install the update and be able to handle big files like this a lot easier than an older computer or a uh, something like a MacBook Air with a, uh, less powerful internals so i just wanted the full disclosure of uh this is probably kind of the higher end of uh what you can expect for this you know update to download at least from the laptop side of things this is probably the the faster end of uh, what you're going to see with this update okay so about 24 minutes later i get this pop-up for the installation so it was estimating the download would take 58 minutes so the download actually took half the time that was estimated. It was twice as fast as originally predicted, which usually it's slower. So um, working nice and fast today. Um, so Mac OS Big Sur, to set up installation of Big Sur, click continue. Um, you know, we got this little, this little sort of installation window here. Um, so we have the uh, terms and conditions we have to agree with here. And once you agree to that license, then click which disk that you want uh, it to be installed on, obviously. Uh, the one terabyte SSD, the only disk on this computer right now. And we'll go ahead and enter the password to continue. Okay, so now it's begun the process of actually installing macOS Big Sur um, onto this specific disk, which it estimates is about a 15-minute uh, process. Uh, so we're at 25 minutes on the stopwatch right now. I'll go ahead and lap it so we can see how long it takes for this second round here. All right, so I was a little late getting the camera rolling, um, but... Here we are, uh, 30 minutes in, so it only took 5 minutes instead of 15 minutes uh, to be ready for the restart portion. So then it gave me a 10 second countdown and I scrambled to grab my uh, camera because I wasn't quite ready for that yet. And it uh, got to zero. And here we go, rebooting into macOS Big Sur um, installation mode. Um, so I guess what we just saw was the last view of Catalina. It's a little bit sad because I, I really liked the uh, visual style of Catalina. It's definitely something I'll miss. Um, but I'm also very excited for a lot of the new features in Big Sur. So it's kind of a bittersweet moment for me here. Um, here we go. All right, it just officially rebooted into the... Uh, we got the Apple logo. We got the uh, progress bar there. Um, and I went ahead and lapped our stopwatch again. So we'll be able to see about how long each portion of the update takes and then the update in total. 
Um, but this, uh, for those of you who haven't done Mac OS updates before, uh, this will just cycle through some different Apple logos and progress bars, and they'll probably be like three or four different progress bars uh, before it's actually all the way done. And some of the progress bars will glitch, and some of the progress bars will switch to other different size progress bars. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's just like iOS. It just kind of does whatever. Um, so we'll wait for that to be done. So at this point, we have received a time estimation with our progress bar. So it looks like we're looking at about 28 minutes uh, for this progress, but hopefully this will go faster uh, than 28 minutes because the last uh, time estimations were dramatically over estimations. So hopefully this will be the same. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. So close, so close. Oh, did it just go backwards? I don't trust anything anymore. Oh, and that little sliver is apparently worth 10 minutes now. There's <laughs> the proportionality here makes no sense. Less than a minute sounds like the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. Here we are after a total of an hour. Wow, exactly an hour. Uh, we are into macOS Big Sur here. You can see um, new uh, background. It doesn't actually default to the um, actual landmark background this time. It defaults to a, a, a more neutral type thing. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so no uh, no splash screens, no intro or anything. We are just thrown right in here. You can already see uh, some of the new style here um, in, in this bar. Here's the battery settings that everyone hates. It, it does look kind of bad, but... Uh, so you can see the dock down at the bottom is now slightly disconnected from the bottom of the screen, just a little bit of a graphical change there. But the big graphical change is with the um, software itself. All of the icons have been redesigned uh, following a more square design like iOS, but they still look different than iOS. They're, they got a little bit more of that realistic touch, and uh, most of them I actually kind of like. Activity Monitor looks much nicer in this form than it did in its other form. Uh, some of the other apps like Messages and FaceTime, a lot of people complain they look plasticky and fake and nasty and gross. I actually kind of like the style, actually. I, I, I kind of do. Maps particularly, I think, looks pretty good. It's hard to see exactly on the camera, uh, but just the way that the app uh, icon was designed to begin with just, you know, works really well with uh, kind of the 3D pop-out graphics that uh, Big Sur is going for. Really, the, the main thing I don't like is the square shapes. I, I wish they had retained the circles. Uh, I would have been happy if they had gone for the new graphical style with the circles, but it, it, it's all okay. So you can see how uh, some of the menu graphics have changed. Kind of all of the um, graphics throughout the entire system have been adjusted. And now you can see we are on macOS Big Sur. I don't really think any of these other screens have changed very much. They changed the uh, graphic for what the <laughs> um, SSD looks like here, uh, but I think that's about it. So up in the corners where you're going to find a lot of the new stuff, a series been pushed out so that the uh, calendar and clock can go here. And then clicking on that calendar and time is going to bring up uh, uh, the new notification center and widget view here. Um, so all your notifications appear at the uh, top first, and then your widgets show up under there. They're iOS 14 style widgets. And here we can go ahead and edit. Small, medium, and large for weather. Again, it's just like iOS widgets, um, just in macOS now. I'm not going to mess with any of that right now. There's also the new control center option, which is really nice. Most of the control center-esque functions were just shoved into notification center in Catalina and Prior, which worked, but it was just a little bit janky. So they have their own control center now. Um, here you can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and AirDrop, and we can click that um, arrow to open up more advanced uh, Wi-Fi settings there. Um, there isn't a back button, though, which is a little frustrating. Once you pop in here, uh, you have to click off and click back, but hopefully that can be adjusted in time. Overall, I like how this is laid out, uh, just this little uh, square up here in the corner. It's very nice. We have our uh, volume adjustment and brightness adjustment, and we... It appears that um, we can maybe rearrange. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. But here we can get some more advanced display preferences. Um, and same with uh, sound. We can go into our sound preferences here as well. 
A Wi-Fi bar has also been redesigned as well as the Bluetooth bar. Everything looks much nicer and cleaner now. I actually really like it. Sound bar also redesigned. And you now have specific options with Do Not Disturb, just like iOS. Whereas before in Mac OS, it was just on and off and, and that was it. Then uh, this brings out spotlight search in the center. Spotlight search is not really appear to be any different than it's always been. I've already shown you battery. Um, this is a, I'll show you a little bit more detail. A lot of people hate the graphic I hear. This is probably the most called out thing when macOS uh, Big Sur was first announced. And uh, they've done some changes to somewhat improve it, but I mean, it, it's still, it's not the best, but uh, the whole battery section is new here. So you can see things like usage history, um, options for when it's on the power adapter and battery and then you can schedule um, turning on and turning off this is all this stuff was under um, energy saver before and uh, now it's called battery which makes a bit more sense there are still some things within big sur i'm just not a fan of like that screen time logo like yeah but for the most part i like how everything's redesigned uh with the like the uh in terms of the user interface i just open up finder here out of curiosity yeah, there we go. I don't know why it just everything just looks so much cleaner uh, in Big Sur, and and I really enjoy that because uh, there were definitely a lot of parts of Catalina that were starting to look pretty dated. But check out Activity Monitor. I am nerdy enough to use this app regularly, and it's nice. It's nice. It's uh got all the same functions as before. It's just cleaned up. I think that pretty much sums up all the user interface changes in Big Sur. Um, all the same features are still there. Everything is just cleaned up quite a bit. The, the spacing on the options up on this, the uh, control bar, whatever you call it, uh, they are a little bit awkwardly spaced out. I wish they would go a little closer together. Um, but again, I like how they've redone all these menu items. They're uh, much uh, cleaner to look at than before and a lot more clear. Like before you would open Bluetooth and it would just be a list of uh, names. Now you can actually have the icons there that show you what those devices are, which is, is nice. Same thing for the uh, sound preferences. You also have keyboard brightness on there and screen mirroring. Well, thank you all for watching. Those are my first impressions of macOS Big Sur downloading it uh, just now. But as you can see, it's pretty much midnight. So I need to go ahead and get some sleep. I'm just going to wait and upload, edit and upload this video uh, probably sometime tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad it finally worked. And honestly, first impressions, I just, I really like it a lot more than I thought I would. And I'm excited for the future of Mac and the future of Apple in general. Uh, so I'll, I'll see you guys later. I'm, I'm happy it worked. <laughs>